The views, thoughts, and opinions expressed in this episode are that of the guest and host and do not necessarily reflect the values of sponsors or other associated organizations. Welcome to the Parental Compass, presented by Family Education and Support Services. I am your host, Bobby Williams. If you like what you're hearing, please subscribe to the show. You'll get notified each week when we drop the next episode. When you have a baby or a young child, their brain is developing so much during those first few years. By the time they're five, the majority of their brain is already developed. So how can you make the most of such a critical time? And I'm guessing most of the listeners here are not brain scientists. So it's tough sometimes to know if what you're doing is even having the right impact. Interesting guest here to speak with us today, Jeffrey Bezos. His parents run the Bezos Family Foundation. We spoke with their senior program manager, Daniel Torres, about a new tool that they've created called Broom. In a very simple way, Broom gives parents ways that they can engage their child's mind while also teaching about the brain science behind what they're doing. Something like this seems like it would be really complicated, but it's not at all. I wanna drop their website real quick, vroom.org and also they have an app just look up vroom early learning on your phone it was a really interesting conversation let's get into it right and and the one thing is like focusing on those first five years is really important but um there's also a lot you can do after that right so i never want someone to feel like if things don't happen perfectly in those first five years that their life can't be what it could it just can get harder i mean that's part of the the point of the early focus is that um, if you set things up for success early on a lot of the mitigation things we do later on we don't need yeah well they always tell you like as adults to exercise your brain but how could like a one or two or three-year-old exercise their brain. They can't even do crossword puzzles or anything. Yeah, I mean, the, one of the biggest things that, that we've learned is them, them hearing language is so important, right? So interacting with adults, whether it be their parents or caregivers, um, hearing language, um, hearing just words early on um, is something that's, that's critical to brain development. Now, a child may not understand what those words mean, but they're learning and they're watching the way the person's mouth moves. They're interacting with them in a back and forth way. Um, they're following cues. So all those things that are, that are the types of things that we with Vroom promote are just really important for brain development. And they're simple things that parents and caregivers are, are likely already doing. Yeah. So let's talk about Vroom a little bit then. So the foundation has a tool called Vroom. I get that it's about youth and brain development, but like what specifically is it? It's, it's really focused on children zero to five. And it was originally intended to take um, the best we know about science, right? So the best we knew about brain science and child development was largely living in research journals. And these are things that parents and caregivers don't have access to or aren't, aren't reading on a daily basis. So it was really trying to take on this problem of how do we get this information we know is really impactful into the hands of parents and caregivers in an actionable way. So Vroom takes activities that fit in with your everyday life and pairs them with what we call brainy backgrounds, which is the brain science behind why you should be doing more of these things with your child. And it, and it delivers that content and information to parents and caregivers through multiple ways, through an app, through an SMS service, and through posters and resources that show up in libraries and childcare, hospitals, and various settings in your community. Okay. So like, say, for example, I sign up for the app. Do I just get a text or what, what happens then? I go to the site, I sign up for the app. Yeah, you can sign up for the app on all of the major platforms on iOS, on the Google Store, through Google Play, and you know, you'll set up a profile, right? You'll set up a profile with your child. You put in your child's information if you'd like, which helps us to understand which tips are best for the age range your child is. So if you have a three-year-old, you'd put their name and birth date in there, and then you get suggestions for tips and activities. 
Um, there's also a lot of customization you can do in terms of pitting, p- picking settings, right? Bedtime, uh, at the playground, in the park. Um, and you'll get tips that are really designed for that. You also have a lot of ability to curate and set up alerts based on when you'd most like tips. So that's that's how the app works. And it has the most kind of functionality behind it, but there are other ways to get tips outside of that too. Nice. And is this free or it's a subscription thing or? It's all free. Everything about Vroom is free. There's no like upgrade that happens down the line. It's all, it's all a free resource. We're a foundation. There's no, um, we're not trying to make a profit off it. We just want to get the information out to families in as many ways as we can. Mm. So I made a little profile just to check it out and see how it works and was looking at the tips and I saw one, I put a two-year-old as the you know age for it. And the tip was when you're going at the grocery store, it, it was called rainbow fruit or something. And when you're with the child at the grocery store, have a conversation with them about the colors of the fruit. Like here, I see a red fruit. Do you see an orange fruit? It gets them to be a little bit more aware of themselves and their surrounding. And it's a game they have to practice self-control. And I just thought that was cool because it's like, I wouldn't normally think about that myself, but it was a cute game and kind of helpful idea, I thought. That tip's a great example. It fits into something you're already doing, right? You're at the store with your child and it gives you something that is actionable uh, that you can do in that moment. And it shows you what it, how good it is for child development with a brainy background that's, that's paired with it. So a great example of a room tip and, and how we see it really kind of plugging into your life. Yeah. So why there's this whole science element to it, though. So why the science side of the brain? Like, why not just the tips? It's a good question. One of the things that um, when the program was being designed, there was focus groups done across the country um, to try to understand would, would, that, would that resonate with parents? Would that brainy background or the science piece? Um, could we just do tips alone? And, and the finding from that was that parents really, really valued information on the brain science. And they valued it when it was paired with something they could do. Right. So it was like this reinforcing aspect of, yes, I want to know about brain science. This is helpful. It's written in a way that makes sense to someone who's not a neuroscientist. And I have something that I can do in my life in real time that can actually help my child um, be more successful. So that that research showed that the brain brain, pairing the brainy background with the activity was really critical for people to um, to really utilize the content. Yeah, I think one of the big challenges for new parents is not knowing like, am I doing this right? Am I doing enough of this or is this wrong? But this gives you a backing of science behind it so that it's like, we know this is something that's helpful because it's been studied. I thought that was kind of cool. That's right. And one of the biggest things that um, people love about Vroom is is our, our core message is you already have what it takes to be successful as a parent, right? I mean, there are things that um, can help every parent, but but as a parent, your, your working and interacting with a child is enough. And this is helpful guidance on the, some of the best things you can be doing. Um, a lot of what you are already doing, but let's do more of that. It's like you're already doing this, but you can be intentional to do more or you know how what you're doing impacts the kid. Yeah, that's it's right. Seem, it seems like touch means so much for children too, or you communicate so many different ways. Does Vroom talk about beyond just a simple game or something? I mean, it can be simple games. It can be pointing out um, things in, in the environment that our children are interacting with. Um, it really, it, it's dependent on the child's age too. So the age segmentation thing, I think is really helpful in that some of our tips are for children zero to one. Some of them are for the older killed children that are four to five, which have more conversation and interaction involved because they have more language capabilities. And some of them are more general tips just for children zero to five that you can adapt in your interaction with a child. So it really depends on the age range and then the setting that you're looking at. I know brain research is advancing but how does that even work? It seems like it'd be a tough thing to study. Like, are they just poking a child and like part of their brain lights up in a scan or how, how do they figure this stuff out to know what to put in there? I mean, the most advanced version I've seen is a place actually in Seattle called iLabs, um, which we've partnered with before, where they get to the point of they have little neuron things on the baby's heads and they're actually like looking at, it doesn't harm the child at all, but they're looking at the brain activity as they're being exposed to different things. So that's that's like the deep, deep 
um, brain science piece. The other stuff is more looking at just general child development. Um, a lot of this, we're seeing this through home visiting programs, through childcare, through pre-K. Um, so a lot of these things are happening through that program as well, but we're seeing how when children are exposed to these good activities and our you know, parents have more knowledge about the brain science, you see better outcomes in terms of kindergarten readiness and later on down later in life. Is this a field that's advancing or are we just sort of building on the ideas we've had for 30 years or what's going on with child brain science? Well, I think some of the earliest studies were longitudinal studies um, that looked at pre-K interventions and they were able to track kids for 30 years, right? So you have this really interesting research about kind of the long-term impacts of, of being exposed to good programming for, for young children. And some economists, James Heckman was an economist um, that started to, you know, put a cost around this. You know, you'll see different estimates floating around, but for every dollar invested in early childhood, you, society reaps seven dollars in benefits. So that started building a lot of momentum early on around if we put more more dollars here, it's going to pay off down the line. Um, as as a lot of that momentum built, you saw a lot of states that started investing in universal pre-K. For example, so there's more and more states um, that are doing that. Um, a lot of states investing in um, improving the quality of childcare, expanding home visiting. Um, it's still pretty patchwork, though, and that's the thing where Vroom comes in, and that you know there's not enough slots anywhere for the good services that exist. There's not enough money to pay for them in in most states. So there's there's ways in which we have to get to parents and caregivers that aren't in programs. And I think Vroom is a resource that helps to fill that gap where anyone anywhere can access the app, SMS, or the website. It's free. Um, it's not going to replace childcare, obviously, or home visiting, but it's going to be a way to get that information to parents and caregivers that they may not get otherwise. Mm, that's a good point, too. It's like very accessible, like you just yeah. get it on your phone or get it on an app. So with Vroom, it seems like there's some core principles that you're drawing from or explain that to me. Yeah, we took all of the all the research um, that our science advisors that helped devise uh, the program um, came up with and, and boiled it down to what we call the brain building basics, right? So this is parent friendly. Um, and quickly, you know, the brain building basics are look, follow, chat, take turns and stretch, right? Those are the five brain building basics. And just to ex explain what those are real quick, look is the eye contact piece. So making eye contact with a child is very good for brain development. That's what the research shows. Follow is when you're doing an activity with a child, follow their lead. Like if they are less interested in what you were showing them and have more interest somewhere else, like go with that, go with where the child's taking you and extend that out. Um, chat is the one really, you know, language is important for children. So if they hear language, it's good. So make sure you interact with them verbally. Um, stretching a moment out is if, if this 30 second interaction could be stretched out um, to 90 seconds or five minutes, let's do that because this is good for their brain development. So should we be doing more of it? Um, and then finally taking turns is just, Anything that you can do that's interactive with a child where it's not just one way is really, really important for all the activities, whether that's playing ball, um, talking about what they're seeing in a park, um, or just describing their day. Let's make it an interactive, not one way dialogue. And all those things are very good for child development. Mm. It's interesting to me how children and little babies are always just seem like they're taking everything in, like they're always just kind of staring or grabbing stuff or you know you're at the grocery store and a little baby's just like staring you down you know yeah and, and the example there with the little little ones is like sometimes you can just make a funny face at them and they'll laugh or smile um it's things like that right like they're the take turns and all these ideas are really applicable to the age range uh, but you'll see even with the youngest children there's ways in which they're going to interact with you if you give it to them you know they soak it all in um, and it's fun with with all children, but but that more interactive element is is what those brain building basics are all about. It seems like one of the core things, if not the most important things, babies and little children want is just your attention. That's right. That's right. And and you focusing that attention in some specific ways can just make the most of the moment. Let's get into the weeds a little bit with it. Like, say, I want my child to be confident as a, a young adult and an adult. Are there things you can do to foster that in them when they're young or? I think all the things that, that Vroom promotes are gonna build a lot of the things we talked about in terms of executive function and help that trajectory be on the right path. In terms of it directly leading to things like confidence um, down the line, 
Um, I don't think we can say that, but if a child is coming into kindergarten prepared, um, they're gonna start off in school more successful, hopefully build a better relationship with the education system, which will lead to all the good things that we hope happen down the road in terms of high school graduation, college, um, and just having success later on. Yeah, well, you've been doing this work a pretty long time, right? Yeah, well, I mean, my so my oldest is almost 11. So I'd done child welfare work before that, which had some um, young child focus. But then when he was born, I really shifted gears to, to just be in this space, so about 11 years. So did all this influence the way you raised your child or? Yeah, it really did. I mean, this, this getting this information, I mean, I, I was exposed to Verome more when my second child was born, um, but the tips, you know, just two young children having a job, two parents working, um, kids are in childcare, your, your window with them is short. You know I mean? You have, you know, three waking hours sometimes with your child in a day. You want to make the most of that. You want to connect with them. You want to have quality time, but if you can also um, build in some of these activities that can help them in terms of their longer term development, it just feels good. It feels good. It feels like you're doing something as a parent that's positive. Yeah. And it's a little simple thing, like you said, that can just fit into your life. Do you have any closing words or things you'd like to say to our audience? Focusing on those first five years is really important. I never want to send the message that, again, that um, a child is, if, if things aren't optimal in those first five years, there's still a lot of ways we can support children as they, as they transition to adolescence and adulthood. But it's, it's a missed opportunity if we don't focus on those first five years. Um, things like Vroom and other high quality early learning programming um, are really impactful. Your role as a parent and caregiver is so impactful in those first five years and beyond. And there are simple things you can do um, that can really, really help your child benefit within the course of your everyday life. And that's, that's really what Vroom is trying to, trying to promote and give you some information on. And it's just something that it has a bigger impact than you'll ever know. Nice. Drop the website on us. The website is vroom.org, V-R-O-O-M dot O-R-G. And one other thing, if you wanted to get the text service for Vroom, you can text Vroom to 48258. Nice, Vroom to 48258. Well, That's right. Dan, thank you so much for being here. This is interesting. I'm interested to check out more of it. And I just, I appreciate you taking the time. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Thank you, Daniel. Vroom! After using it myself, I was amazed with how simple it was. This has been The Parental Compass by Family Education and Support Services. I'm Bobby Williams. We'll see you next week. Peace!